Okay, for um, forearm pronation, you're going to place the axis over the knuckle of the third digit. You're going to make sure that the stationary and movable arms are parallel with the object they are holding. You're going to ask them to turn their hand down. You're going to line up the axis of the goniometer with the knuckle of the third digit again. You're going to move the movable arm. You're going to keep the stationary arm perpendicular with the floor. And you're going to move the movable arm where it's parallel with the object they are holding. Okay. Now, for mu manual muscle testing of those motions, <coughs> for shoulder flexion, for shoulder flexion, you're going to ask them to hold their arm up at 90 degrees of flexion. I'm going to support the elbow joint. I'm going to hold just proximal to the elbow joint and I will ask them, I will tell them to hold that position and don't let them push your arm down, okay? Hold it, don't let it push down. Okay, and that is shoulder flexion. The gravity eliminated position for shoulder flexion is with the person on their side and um, I would support their elbow as they are flexing their arm through the full range of motion. Um, shoulder abduction. Manual muscle test is the person will have their arm out to 90 degrees of abduction. I will support the shoulder joint with one hand. I will place my other hand just proximal to the elbow joint. I will ask them to hold that position and don't let them push down. Hold it, don't let them push down. Okay. Now, for shoulder a deduction manual muscle test I will have them uh, hold their arm at 90 degrees of abduction and I will support at the shoulder joint I will hold just proximal to the elbow and I will say do not let me push your arm up okay. go ahead and rest for a second now for Shoulder internal and external rotation, I will place them into 90 degrees, shoulder, shoulder into 90 degrees of abduction, their elbow into 90 degrees of flexion. I will, I'm going to support at their elbow, and I'm going to place my hand on top of their other hand for, to test for external rotation, and I will tell them to hold this position and do not let me push your hand down, okay? For shoulder internal rotation, I will again place them in 90 degrees of abduction, 90 degrees of elbow flexion. I will place my elbow, my hand on their elbow to support it. I'm going to place my hand uh, just proximal to the wrist and I will say do not let me push your hand up. Okay, good. Now, for uh, Uh, <clears throat> so, for um, the gravity eliminated position for shoulder abduction and adduction would be the person lying either supine or prone and then moving their arm out away from their body and towards their body in the lying position, either face down or face up. The gravity eliminated position for internal and external rotation is with the person's arm bent and asking them to move their hand towards their stomach or away from their body. And this is the gravity eliminated position for internal and external rotation. Now, for um, shoulder external rotation, I'm going to have um, my person lie on the mat. Uh, face down, please. them to lift their arm up towards the ceiling. I'm going to support at the shoulder. I'm going to place my other hand just proximal to the elbow joint. Do not let me push 
and, and I will give them the instructions to hold that position and do not let me push their arm down. Okay. Now, um, now I need you to scoot to the edge of the mat. Okay. For, horizon, for shoulder horizontal adduction, I mean, so, sorry. Shoulder horizontal abduction. I'm going to have the. I'm going to bend their elbow at 90 degrees. I'm going to abduct their arm 90 degrees. Um, and I'm going to support at the shoulder. I'm going to place my hand just proximal to their uh, elbow, and I will ask them to hold that position and not to let me push it down. And this is for shoulder horizontal abduction. Then um, for shoulder horizontal adduction, I am going to lay, ask them to turn over in the supine position. Keep turning all the way up, face up. Okay, I'm going to have them lift their arm up towards the ceiling. I'm going to support at their shoulder joint here. I will place my hand just proximal to the elbow, and I will ask them to hold that position and do not let me push it down. And this is for shoulder horizontal adduction. Do not let me push down. Okay, good. Now the gravity eliminated position for shoulder flexion and extension again would be the person would be side lying on their side and I would support their elbow and have them move through the range this way. Um, for shoulder horizontal AB and AD duction, gravity eliminate position, the person will be sitting and I will place them, their arm in this position. I will support their arm and have them either go away from their body or in towards their body. For shoulder flexion muscle test, I will have them flex their elbow to about 90 degrees. I'm going to support their elbow. I'm going to place my other hand just proximal to their wrist. I'm going to ask them to hold that position and do not let me pull down, okay? Don't let me pull your arm down. Good. Now for elbow extension right there, my annual muscle test, I will extend their arm out slightly to where it's only slightly flexed. I'm going to place my elbow, my hand on their elbow. I will have my hand just proximal to the wrist, and I will ask them to hold this position and do not let me push your arm. Um, don't let me push your arm in. Now, for for pronation and supination, I'm going to have the person sitting with their elbow bent to 90 degrees. And I'm going to ask them to hold my hand. I'm going to place my other hand just proximal to the wrist. And I'm going to ask them to, uh, for pronation, I'm going to ask them not to let me turn their hand towards the ceiling. Okay? So, do not, so hold this position. Do not let me turn it. Okay? Good. And I'm applying pressure with both hands. For supination, I'm going to ask the person to hold this position again with their elbow at 90 degrees, my hand just proximal to the wrist, my other hand holding their hand, and I will ask them to not let me turn their hand down towards the floor. Okay? And so that is how you do pronation and supination.